So welcome to our distribution center right here in Gla. Today we are looking at Chateau Cara Ruby. Being the oldest malting plant in Belgium means we make a lot of different kinds of malt, which is fantastic for making award-winning beers. However, sometimes brewers still have a hard time understanding how they are to be used. Don't worry, we've got you covered. In this series, we show you how to use each and every single one of all of our malts. In today's video, we're looking at Car Ruby. Car Ruby is a beautifully fine flavored Belgian toffee malt. And what we're going to try and find out is uh, how it's made, what are the specifications, and how it is used in day-to-day -day brewing. And we'll also give you a couple of ideas of percentages and approximations on how to make the most out of this fantastic malt. Let's have a look. Cara Ruby starts out as freshly made green malt and is then caramelized in the roaster at up to 220 degrees Celsius until that sweet toffee character reveals itself. It is noted for its bright red color and being a Belgian toffee malt with flavors reminiscent of chewing toffee and boiled sweets like butterscotch. Uh, le Cara Ruby est quelque chose qui va vraiment être utile pour amener une belle couleur orangée jusqu'à rouge dans une bière. Tout en amenant, comme tous les caras, toujours une bonne tenue de mousse. Euh, ça amène une certaine rondeur, mais pas trop marquée dans la bière. Ça permet surtout d'avoir une belle couleur, sans amener d'arômes, de, de torréfaction ou même de biscuits. Donc typiquement dans la famille des caras. Belgian beers. Beer de garde. While mostly seen as a malt-focused aged beer, the addition of Car Ruby in somewhat darker versions of the style helped to temper the dry malt character that this beer is known for by adding playfully delicious background notes. Add up to 15% of the grist. Flanders Red and Brown Ale. This delightfully tart beer is aided by Car Ruby through an intense red color which some of these styles are known for as well as adding complex sweetness that goes very well with the Acetobacter top note produced during fermentation. Add as much as 25% of the total, but keep your mash temperatures low. Belgian Double Although there are other malts associated with this Trappist-style beer, the usage of Cara Ruby in the crust of this beer helps to accentuate the dark fruit complexity. Think of sticky candied plums, used between 8 and 12% of the grain bill. British beers. Scottish ales. As you can imagine, the addition of between 5 and 15% of Belgian toffee malt into pretty much any Scottish ale kicks the well-known and loved toffee character of these beers into high gear. When brewing something stronger, like a wee heavy, forget the recommendation and use with abandon. You just can't go wrong here. Tropical Stout. When you need sweetness to counteract all the bitterness of the roasted malts, Car Ruby is the malt you choose. Tropical Stouts need about 4 to 10% to get that toffee sweetness. And this malt does really well with the style of beer. London Brown Ale. A historical style, once having garnered the title of sweetest beer in London. It comes as no surprise that this beer benefits greatly from our malt in question. Based on other malts being used here, we recommend between 3 and 8% for this style of beer, as well as a recommendation to brew this to at least 5% ABV in the true pre-World War I way. German beers. Helly's Bock. Being one of the stronger lagers and still quite light, small amounts of toffee malt help to create a character that is both pleasingly malty as well as complementary to the hops. Not too much required to get the flavor profile to the right point, say around 3-6% of the malt bill. Vienna Lager Some purists may argue that you need not use caramel malt in this style of beer, but we disagree. Small amounts of toffee malt increase head retention and add subtle sweetness that balances out the dryness of the Maillard Reaction malts, generally used in this recipe, no more than 4% of the malt bill. American beers, East Coast IPA. 
The East Coast version of the American IPA style range is a balance between malt sweetness and the robust hop bitterness of American hops, with neither overwhelming the other. In addition, the color ranges from a golden color through to light amber. Based on both of these brewing aspects, the use of between 5 and 10% Cara Ruby is a great idea. Wheat Wine This sipping beer is really good when the soft mouthfeel qualities of the wheat are combined with a bit of caramel complexity from the butterscotch flavors of Cara Ruby. Swap out about 10-12% to 12 of the Turo malt and you can thank us later.